Yo, 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 and snow, 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 maniacs. Look all around you, man. Look out there, brother. Yeah, and out, out there too, man. And and even even over here, look at those big mounds of mounds of the white stuff, brother. As I said above, the love sponge his wife at one time. But that's another story for another day, dude. Anyway, let's bring the camera where it should be, man. Because let me tell you something, brother. This was a monster of a snowstorm, brother. In fact, I think they even gave it a name. Snowstorm Hercules, brother. And let me tell you something. I, I stepped outside, man. And... And I felt, I felt the storm coming. And it could be as powerful, it might be even more powerful than the real Hercules, brother. So I knew what I had to do. I had to go back to the Garden of Eden, brother. And I had to work out with my main squeeze Eve, 20,000 leagues under the sea. I hung and bung on the Titanic again, brother. And then, and then... When I got my Hulk of Snow plow out, dude, Snowstorm Hercules, he realizes where the power lies, brother. And anyway, anyway, of course I went out with my yellow tank top and my yellow and red tights, brother, because, because my radioactive my radioactive tan, dude, amigo, my radioactive tan, dude, it works better than antifreeze, brother. It works better. It works better than anything, dude. It works better than the fireplace, brother. It works better than my heater. I got, I got nuclear... I got so much nuclear power radiating from my savage tan, brother, that that the Geiger counters, dude, whenever I walk by, they click so much, they click so much that I think, I think that that no good Shawn Michaels and his friends are around, brother. Isn't that a funny joke, dude? Of course it is, brother, because I am, I am the king of all wrestling, and I am the king of comedy. Or did you not see Mr. Nanny, brother? You cannot doubt how funny I am, dude. Um, let's see. But anyway, brother, anyway, I also wanted to talk to you maniacs, because a very important date is coming in a couple of weeks, man. It is almost the 30th anniversary of the day Hulkamania came to life, dude. When I was in the middle of Madison Square Garden. And I was facing that no good, nasty, smelly, iron chic, brother. I knew the stars were in alignment. Haley's Comet just passed by me. It was a once-in-a-lifetime deal, brother. Well, then I gave him the big boot, the leg drop, and the one, two, three. And I took that title, and I created a whole new force, brother. The most powerful force in the universe, man. Hulkamania. And after 30 years, it's still going strong. Everybody loves me. And I'm still the biggest star in the universe, man. And speaking of 30, I think since it is my 30th birthday, brother, it's only appropriate that I head to something else that has a 30 at the end of it, dude. I'm just saying, man, be on the lookout. Be on the lookout down in Louisiana. Down in the south where all this started, man. Because you never know when the second coming 
is going to arrive, dude. And as I enter that, as I re-enter that combat zone, brother, all you have to do is grab onto the largest arms in the world, brother, and I will take you to the next stellar constellation, brother, where Hulkamania will live on for another 30 years, and another after that, man, and another after that, brother. Hulkamania will live forever, dude. And what you gonna do when the Hulkster cannot be stopped by the Winter Storm, by the Iron Sheik, by anyone who wants to stop me from being at that other Big 30, brother? What are they gonna do when the Hulkster and his radioactive Andy Freeze body, his radioactive tan, brother, what are they going to do when it irradiates you? Brother! <gasps>